It's all you. Good morning. My name is Cody Lawson, and I'll be talking with you about the different mother types of motherboards. Some of the types of motherboards are ATX, BTX, and ITX. Can anybody say the different ATX motherboards? Like form factors? Like uh, mini? We have the Flex ATX, Micro ATX, slash Embedded. Mini, Standard, Extended, and Workstation. The Flex is in red and all the different colors. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's a bunch of stuff we're going to talk about. One of them is going to be ATX, or more specifically, the changes that are, going, that are being undergone by the ATX standard. And then the next thing is it's a bit of a coming out party for the Cooler Master Half X, which is an ATX case, but again, it's along the lines of a new ATX standard that until now didn't really exist. So why don't I start with a bit of a history here. First of all, on your left, my right, we have a micro ATX motherboard. This motherboard is, it can be standard width, so you can see that it's actually a little bit narrower than a standard ATX board, but it can be wider. And then it's only for expansion slots. So that's a micro ATX board. That's pretty much the only difference. Next, we have a standard ATX board. So this is an MSI motherboard. You can see the biggest key difference is that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven expansion slots. That's a full ATX board. Next, we have, well, this is where we start getting into the territory of what exactly is it. Gigabyte is calling this motherboard XL ATX. And what it is, is it is a standard width board. So if we compare it, you can see it is the same width as an ATX board, but the length is actually one slot longer. So here, I'm going to try and hold these up in a way that illustrates that a little bit better. There you go. So can you see now? Yeah, it is one slot longer. So while this motherboard actually has only seven expansion slots, there is one vacant spot up here at the top where they could theoretically put an expansion slot, but they haven't. So XLATX, so that means it has eight expansion slots, right? No, wrong, not necessarily. I would like to direct your attention to the motherboard on the uh, NCIX site behind me. This is the EVGA X58 classified four-way SLI. They're also calling this XLATX. Now, when they released this board, I said, oh, that's stupid. There's no case that it fits in. And uh, at that time, I was right. But like I said, one of the other topics today is the coming out party for the half X. May I direct your attention to the system to the left here? This has the ABG classified four-way SLI motherboard with four GTX 480 graphics cards natively. I have made zero modifications to this case for it to fit, and this XLATX is even a little bit different because I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but if you get the camera right in there, I'm going to have to tilt the case a little bit. Yeah. If you get the camera in there, you see that mounting screw? You're going to have to zoom in really, 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 really fast. See that mounting screw? Okay. That corresponds, I'm going to move this board, don't worry about moving the camera. That corresponds to that top left mounting screw there. So you can see it's at the edge of a standard width board. So this EVGA XLATX board, besides being too long, is actually also too wide. But that's not going to stop the half X. So I think we've actually pretty much covered everything I wanted to say about Then we have the BTX motherboard. We have Pico, Micro, and Standard BTX. After ATX was created, another motherboard format came out called a BTX form factor. BTX stands for Balanced Technology Extended. I'm not sure why we put names to these. Nobody calls it Balanced Technology Extended. We don't call it BTX. I guess we had to get the BTX from somewhere, didn't we? The BTX motherboard was a little bit smaller, uh, but it was a little bit wider. So it fit into a, a completely different case. So you really couldn't fit this into an ATX case. This really was very specific for BTX. And the reason we created it, this, this new format, why would you need another format that was basically the same size? The idea is that we were taking the ideas of the ATX and making it better, make it so that we could dissipate more heat 
uh, make it so that it was much easier for airflow to come across this motherboard, and so that all of that heat that would be on that motherboard would be much easier to cool later on. And very much straight lines down the view of this BTX form factor. The problem is it, it really wasn't very popular. It didn't last very long. They're no longer in production. You really can't find them, at least not that I've been able to find. There are many motherboards, though, that took the idea of BTX and they built their own proprietary motherboards. You can't really call them BTX, can't really call them ATX. They're ones that are made by Gateway, they're made by Dell, they're made by third parties, and it is a Dell motherboard that is designed to fit specifically in a Dell case. But the idea behind BTX and some of the advantages of the engineering remain, even though it's not a, a completely official BTX style, still uses a lot of the same engineering that came from that. And here's the idea. If you remember with the ATX motherboard, there were a lot of right angles. So you had a lot of expansion slots that were different than the memory slots. And so the airflow wasn't exactly one that was perfect through the system. But look at BTX motherboard. The memory slots and the expansion slots all go the same direction. So now it's much easier to pull the air directly into your system. This cool air would be pulled in and all go straight through without having to be blocked or stopped by anything. So this was a great idea, this BTX, and you can see why other manufacturers said, we'll take that idea and we'll use it in some of our proprietary, because after all, who's going to swap out a Dell computer with a different motherboard in there? At least that's their thinking. Notice also the processor is at a 45 degree angle to those. So a little bit different in the processor and the way that it fits on there. So it's very easy visually when you look at this motherboard, very easy for you to look at it and go, oh, that's BTX. Look how everything flows in one direction. Look how the processor is at that little 45 degree We have Mini, Nano, Pico, and Mobile. Some of the ex difference expansion slots are Mini ATX has up to three, the Micro has up to four, Standard ATX is six, Pico BTX is one, Micro BTX has four, Standard BTX has seven, Mini ITX has one, and Nano and Pico have zero expansion slots. Any questions? That concludes my PowerPoint presentation.